Hi, I'm Avantika Goswami from CSE India. And I'm Bronwyn Tucker from Oil Change International. So the text that came out uh, this morning on November 21st, um, there have been many discussions around fossil fuels. So Bronwyn, could you tell us a little bit about fossil fuels or lack thereof and what is your reaction to that part of the text? Yes. So in this morning's text, there was no mention of fossil fuels. In a version from a few days ago, there was language around this proposal that has gotten a lot of media attention to have a roadmap for a transition away from fossil fuels. And this comes as a follow-up to the commitment made at COP28, um, paragraph 28 specifically, to have a just, orderly, and equitable transition away from fossil fuels. The problem, um, both in the text, in the negotiation rooms, and in the media has been, I think, a lack of uh, real attention to what is needed to have a just and orderly and equitable transition away from fossil fuels. We know that rich countries, and specifically for rich countries, uh, are responsible for oil and gas production increasing since the Paris Agreement. That's the US, Australia, Canada, and Australia. Yeah. Um, without them, uh, emissions would have gone down, or production would have gone down by 2%. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so because of that, uh, what we would need to see in a roadmap for it to be uh, useful at all is uh, rich countries going first and fastest and real public finance uh, and agreement to cooperate on international issues like debt and tax and trade. Rich countries are not offering that and so Avantika is going to speak a little bit about how it's played out in the media. Yeah. So what we've seen in the news cycle since yesterday and even the day before is that certain developing countries are blocking ambition and, and blocking the inclusion of fossil fuels in the text. But the reality is fossil fuels and the language around it was never the uh, expected outcome of COP30. Um, it's very important to have a roadmap and a process to take forward paragraph 28 of the Paris Agreement of the global stock take outcome. Uh, uh, apologies for that. However, um, there have been many big ticket items which are on the formal uh, negotiation agenda such as adaptation finance, um, uh, a mechanism for just transition, the question of Article 9.1 of the Paris Agreement but that developing countries have been fighting for for months and uh, having those issues sidelined um, because there has been the insertion of this roadmap for fossil fuels creates a big problem for developing countries whose other priorities are also getting overshadowed. So I think the narrative that developing countries are blocking ambition uh, needs to be critically examined and dispelled.